Another example, again, about how things get whipped up, and there's no denying that young people are, perhaps disproportionately, but still, very worried about climate change. Certainly lots of them took to the streets on those climate change rallies. Funnily enough, none of them were as big as the ones that happened about 18 months before the federal election. And I hear no plans for one now that they got a political result that they wanted, which was the removal of the evil Liberal government. But Holly Hughes, who is, of course, the senator from New South Wales, was a guest with Rowan not that long ago, well, she's in a bit of trouble for talking about maybe some of the radicalisation that is happening inside our schools, the lack of proportionality, the lack of detail that happens on so many issues. She gave a speech at the Sydney Institute and she was answering a question about why the Greens vote was as high as it was at the last election. She started off with an off-sided remark that I think a lot of us would agree with, but she went on to make more substantive points about why the Greens won. Now, you may have heard about what she said. Here's what she actually said. But we've got an education system that's basically run by Marxists. And so when kids are at school and they're being taught all this absolute left-wing rubbish, that's where they're leaving school and that's where they're landing. So when you've got a problem in your education system, it's going to take your generation to fix it. Uh, Maybe their parents need to turn the internet off for, you know, to one hour a day that stop them allowing them to use the car and then get public transport. Ah, how could she say such a thing? Well, the reaction today from the education minister, remember the bloke who education meant that he was the first to finish year 10, the first to finish year 12, the first to go to university, the great Western Sydney story, who said that the curriculum wars were over. Because remember, to stand up for the very curriculum that he learnt, that took him out of where he, whence he came and got him all the way to the ministry, well, of course, that means you're somehow fighting a curriculum war. What was his reaction to what he thought, she said. Well, unsurprisingly, it played right into the Twitter sphere. Yeah, they used to say that the Reds are under the bed, didn't they? And now <laughs> apparently the commies are in the classroom. This is just, it's just crazy, isn't it? Yeah, more denial from the Liberal Party. If they think that they lost the election because all teachers are Marxists, then I don't think they're looking in the right direction. She didn't actually say that. She didn't even infer it. She was asked about why has the Greens vote gone up? But it doesn't matter. Snappy line, bit of a smirk. Hey, how good's that guy? Now, I don't know, is he, by the way, the acting Prime Minister? Because the Prime Minister, the Foreign Minister and the Deputy Prime Minister are all overseas. So is it him? Is it Katie Gallagher? Who is currently the acting Prime Minister? I don't know. Interesting how nobody bothered to report that today. Anyway.